Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is March 27th, 2017. Yesterday was my birthday. Uh, I am now 76 years old. It is 2 p.m. <coughs> this video is being recorded on, which just came about an hour ago, on the Logitech 4K Brio. That's the box that it came in, but here on the screen you can see better information about it. But I'm, I'm not going to review it. In fact, I'm not sure I'll even review it at all. I'll just, I'll tell you, you know, how it's working for me and anything that I happen to pick up that'll help you out. But this isn't going to be a review today, and I'm not sure I'll ever really do a review because. There are a ton of YouTube video reviews on it, and I have watched, I think, most of them. Maybe not, but I watched a ton of them before I purchased it. Uh, the price, as you can see, was, I think it was $199 when I purchased it the other day. $199.99, I think, but down a couple bucks. Uh, I've had Logitech, well, I've had webcam. The first webcam that I had uh, hooked up to a computer uh, using the parallel port or the printer port or the RS-232 port, whatever you want to call it. And it was in black and white. And as new cameras came out that I could hook to my computer, I purchased them, the best that I could that I could get. And I have purchased a bunch of them. I won one, uh, <coughs> excuse me, won in a contest on online on Flag Day. Uh, there was a whole bunch of people. There was a guy in Texas. That's before I was in Texas. I think I was in Miami. I think the guy's name in his site was Dot Com Guy, I believe. He had he had his lit name legally changed. Had cameras set up and whatever. And every day he had a little contest and he had a bunch of people who who came to the site. And it was Flag Day and I was there. And I, <coughs> you know, he said, "Okay, the contest is coming up." and so I entered his email address and was ready to click. And then he said, you know, today's flag day. And uh, the question is, what nation was the first to render uh, a salute to the new flag of the United States of America? And I typed in France and hit enter. And uh, in a little bit, he said, uh, you know, Jim Howard is the winner. And he sent, sent me a, a webcam. So, I've been through a lot of webcams. Uh, I have two hooked up right now, the brand new one, and then there's the Logitech C, um, let's see here, C930E. This is the C930E. It's a great, great camera, uh, C930E. Um, but I wanted this new, I wanted the new one. And I just got it, <laughs> and it's 4K. I'm not recording though in 4K right now, I don't believe. I can't remember, am I recording 4K? Uh, or did I record it in, if it's 4K, I think I can tell here. No, okay, this should be in, uh, yeah, this should be in 4K, 3840 by 2160. But the only thing is, this is um, not sure how that's going to work out. The video here is being recorded, but I have the, I mean, I'm capturing the entire screen, so I'm not sure. But uh, have a, I don't, I'm not going to really go into everything on the uh, right now. I'll, play with this and give you information as I, uh, what's this, like a snake sticking up here? Uh, today I also got, uh, this is my Samson Chromebook. Uh, this is not the Pro. This is the, I forget. The Pro is not out actually yet. 
I forget. Anyway, this is the uh, 4K, I mean, 4 gigabyte. I really like the display. Of course, it's, you know, a laptop. You can fold it. You can also use it as a, uh, use it as a tablet. And uh, it just comes, it does not come with USB port. It has the uh, type C ports. So today I got in separate shipment, but came in today. I got uh, these. And that when you plug this in to one of the type C USB ports, you get a, a 3.5 out, a regular 3.5 out, 3.0. And uh, then I also purchased this, which is this here. And let's see, is this going to work for me? This is going to be three will go into this. I am confused here. Type C convert to I'm not sure if I need this. Type can be type okay. This is a um, is this a type three? Yeah, let's see. Yeah. So this is the uh, so this coming out would be <coughs> the small the small micro what do I want to call it Let's see the USB what do you call that micro USB okay to a micro USB so here I have a three point or a uh, regular and so yeah so I'm, I'm getting, trying to get make sure I have everything that I need there we go okay so I know I'll be using these others for sure to give me uh, a regular USB but I can also go this way have all types of ways. Can't have enough ways. Then that should be the name of a candy bar. A ways candy bar. This, by the way, I already had on hand. So this is um, type C, and it comes out to four regular uh, USB adapters. So I'm ready for that. So really right now, I mean, I, I could plug this in and I have done that, plug this in and I would have four regular USB 3.0 uh, uh, plugins that I could use. Uh, my ex-wife and son have moved in. They moved in yesterday on my birthday. That was not a, having my ex-wife move in on your birthday, that's not much of a birthday present. God does not like me. But as you can see, uh, with them paying a share of the expenses, I'm going to have a little bit of extra money to buy things. And in fact, I have a new Logitech mouse and keyboard coming tomorrow. Uh, the <clears throat> the benefits of that they're wild. It's a combo. You can buy them separately. You can buy the uh, keyboard separately from Logitech, or and the mouse separately. You might already have the mouse, at, you know. But I'm getting tomorrow the keyboard and the mouse. 
and uh, they'll be wireless. I haven't had great success in the past with, I haven't tried a lot, but, but I, I've ended up using wired. So I hope the wireless works okay for me. In the past, I can't remember the, I remember one time it was a nice, uh, really nice mouse, but <clears throat> in order to save the battery power, it timed out pretty quickly. And so every time I would go, it would be the, for an instant, it just, it was just a small amount of time, but still it just drove me crazy. It would take a little bit for it to kick on. Uh, but the unit coming tomorrow, the mouse has a, I should show it to you, shouldn't I? Well, anyway, I'll show it to you tomorrow or the next day. It has a switch up here, one, two, three, and you can connect it to, I can connect it to uh, my Chromebook over here. I can connect it to my uh, Windows 10 computer. And it works with like keyboard and mouse. You can do it however you, so I can be, uh, I can pop over here and adjust something or I can pop and there will be a third computer, which will be a Chrome box that will be over here. I'll see how that all works out. It may not work, you know, out. Here I would be, although I would move it, I would be okay using the uh, just a screen on that and not plugging it in here. The Chromebook, the Chrome box is either going to have to have its own monitor hooked up or I'm going to have to put it in here. And if I do that, then I've got to reach under here and switch when I want to switch. And so I'm not sure about that. But anyway, that's coming, uh, that's coming tomorrow. The keyboard. And two, the keyboard looks nice. The way it's designed, we'll find out. This is a really nice, well, you can't see it because this microphone is in the way. Well, you've seen it before. If you've watched these videos before. This is a really nice keyboard. I have some complaints with it, of which I've mentioned in other, in other videos. But it's a nice uh, keyboard. So, but I'm hoping tomorrow that that mouse and keyboard will be what I'll be using. Uh, and as I guess you have figured out, I will be getting a Chrome box. It will have uh, four gigabytes of memory. Later, I'm going to spend $100 and upgrade it to 16 gigabytes of memory. Although a Chrome book or box, you know, using the Chrome operating system, four gigabytes should be enough. You shouldn't need any more than that. But for $100, I'm going to upgrade it to 16 gigabytes. So, uh, I'm not going to even check the news. You, do, you know, you don't want to, uh, you don't want to hear me raving and ranting about that. And, uh, that way also I can leave on the monument, monument, I can leave on the advertising appearing here. If I throw in some rants about something and do any cussing and swearing, then I turn it off so you don't see any advertising. So no advertiser will, oh my God, no. I wouldn't want some advertiser to uh, have his ad appear and have his uh, customers be offended because of the content, you know. Yeah, I don't know what Amazon's going to do. They got their, you know, uh, their advertisers who, because the advertisers don't come here and say, um, you know, I want to put my, I mean, they can, but they don't and won't, you know. For, for any, probably for hardly for anybody, uh, they don't come and say, oh, okay, I want my advertising on YouTube to appear on Jim Howard's channel. You know, they just, I, I think, say, you know, they want to have their advertisement appear on some channel that has a lot of traffic and 
and uh, I guess they probably go by keywords. Uh, I am not somebody who wants guns to be taken away from people. I'm a supporter of the Second Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, you know, the right to bear arms or whatever. But I do, I do, I do not like the National Rifle. I used to be, I was a member for years of the National Rifle Association. I do not like them and the way they've gone. I wish that they hadn't changed. I miss their magazine, American Rifleman. Uh, but, uh, and I'm not in, fra in favor of uh, a lot of the laws that have been passed uh, to allow, I guess I have gotten into politics, haven't I? To allow homeowners, the, the castle doctrine or whatever it's called, to allow the homeowner to be able to uh, shoot and kill somebody for coming in and stealing their TV set and running out the door. Uh, uh, you know, I, I think the old uh, law, common law, of not being able to kill somebody unless, you know, they were a threat, threatening, you know, a threat to you or a threat to somebody else, but that you could not kill somebody for stealing your property. Um, the laws of, so, uh, but anyway, I'm not wanting to take away gun rights and all that type of stuff. I do what I would like to have those some common sense uh, regulations. But so I blogged about that on my blog for years and years about it. And starting before the before there was a World Wide Web before 1995, back in 1982, 83, 84, and continuously, you know. Uh, but um, What's funny is, you know, I gave my comments on that, and then there would be, I guess because I had tags in in the uh, Google AdSense or whatever, uh, there would be ads that would appear on my uh, thing for the NRA and for gun, and you know, uh, getting your concealed, you know, permit uh, where you could get it and books and all that kind of stuff. I didn't care. I mean, I blogged my opinion and then some ads appear because you don't pay attention to it. I don't pay attention. I, I don't see ads. I have an ad blocker running, but I, on some sites that I want to support where the ads are not uh, too offensive, I uh, click and allow those ads to, you know, to appear. But I don't see them. I mean, I, they just get tuned out and I'm sure that's the way it is with everybody else. So, um, I guess with the new stuff that you see I'm getting, you see that I had um, had a nice uh, a nice birthday. When you get this age, uh, I think people give you they give you money. They figure that uh, you're going to need it for your uh, burial plan or your cremation plan or for uh, medications or something. But uh, what do I spend it on? computer stuff. Yeah, not too smart, am I? Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'm going to play with the rest of my stuff. Oh, since my ex-wife and my son have moved in, oh man, uh, luckily Hillary, my daughter, my daughter from Sweden, was a tremendous, is, was a tremendous help and has been a tremendous help and uh, today she's having a hell of a day. She's trying to, she's going to be taking her driving test. She took past the written test, but today she's taking the driving test. And then she has a whole bunch of other things to do. In addition, she's got to pick up an antibiotic for a cat today. And oh, she's having up sure I'm hell of a day. But she has been tremendous help with the moving here, uh, with the move. And it's all done now. And, uh, Uh, but everything's moved in, but, oh man, I, I, I have, because we had to put them, well, we threw a ton of stuff away. There's a lot of stuff that got thrown away, had to, but I have, 
a chest of drawers in my closet, which I didn't have a chest of drawers in here, and I needed one, so it's in the closet. And you know, I can open the drawers and get. I have a couple of drawers left to put stuff into. I have a, a little book rack or a little bookshelf over there that I can have some stuff in there now, but it, it's got to be. I have an extra chair in this room, which really I didn't want to throw it away, and it, it's really kind of. But it's and it's got stuff piled in it. Why am I? Let's see. Why am I, ouch, just knocked a phone out, can, there's the, uh, the bed has a bunch of stuff on it, let me get up here, and try to watch the screen and turn the camera, okay, there's that book, uh, uh, bookcase, whatever, and then there's that chair, which is my old chair, there in the closet, you can see the door is half open and you can see the uh, whatever. Then over here, you can see um, the, uh, the new table. See if the mouse, there's a new table. And then there is, you can't really tell, there's uh, a two, another table. Okay, no, you can see that table. Then there's a table behind that on the floor because this one has to go it just can't sit there it's got to go someplace else I have no idea where it's going to go the printer is up here on top of a uh, drawer system that's up there so and then behind here when I'm sitting here uh, which you know, I don't think you can see I hope you can't see it because I don't have pants on but uh, well you can see it I think but it's over there is uh, another uh, end table, but it's going to be nice. Well, I got to get, to, I got to, or I got to put this stuff, and it'll be a much, a lot more stuff to throw away. Uh, but uh, I think I'm out of focus. Am I out of? This is my new camera. I can't be out of focus, can I? Um, well, let me just pull up the. Here. Okay, I, I can't see. Okay, well, the. Well, this doesn't work, the backgrounds. I can't use backgrounds with the way. With maybe some other software I can. Uh, let's see, go to. Okay, that didn't change. At least it didn't change on this view here, so I'm not sure if it uh, changed for you or not. I'll have to check that out. Like I said, I just got this today. But got a lot of work to do. Oh, but for months or for years, I have been so short of space in my room that... I would put everything on my bed. I'd put stuff on my bed and then do what I needed to do. And then when I got wanted to go to bed, I had to take everything off my bed and put it someplace else until tomorrow and then go through this, or not the, in fact, on the same day, go through that. Uh, so, um, hopefully, with what I have now that I will not have to power, put pile stuff on my bed and I can I'm an old man now. I'm 76. I'll be able to go and take my nap when I want to take my nap. Uh, changing subjects real quick. Now I'm back in focus. Actually, I think I'm better if I'm not in focus. For, you know, it's better for you all if I'm not in focus. Uh, my oldest daughter and her husband visited a few months back, and I found a bunch of photos and gave them to LaDonna, family photos. And when she was looking at, look, kind of looking at them here and everything, uh, they didn't look too, I, I thought, I'd, you know, but anyway, she took them. A I thought she had almost everything. I found what I had done is I had separated, I'd, take, I'd gone through the photos and I'd put 
all the things that I thought really were good photos, family photos and stuff, in one folder. And in the other folder, I put the stuff that was, you know, I didn't want to throw it away, but it was a lot of crap. Probably should be thrown away. That's the folder I gave uh, LaDonna. So I found um, these other photos because of moving everything around and some other items. My father, uh, after grade school, went to be a priest at uh, uh, St. Vincent's College in Cape Girardeau, Missouri, uh, to be a Catholic priest. And he went there a little bit, but uh, then he ran away and went home. He was smart. But this is a prayer. This is, I guess, the first uh, thing he get, they, all the new people, all the new boys got when they got there. And there's notes in here, uh, written, hand, you know, some handwritten notes. Of course, it's in uh, the prayers are in English and, of course, in Latin. I was an altar boy, but, well, I don't want to dig him out, and I don't want to take him any more time, but there are, there's a photograph there of him, like on his first day or first week at Conception uh, Seminary, so, and other photos like that, so, uh, I've been, for years, planning on scanning them, but I'm too lazy to do it. And I think I'm just going to, well, I want to go through them again. I may scan a few, but I think I box them up and send them to LaDonna in Washington, D.C. Not that she has time to do it, but uh, maybe down the road a piece, maybe when she retires and I'll be gone by then. But uh, something now that I'm going to have uh, paying the rent and everything here has every month has uh, taken just about all my money but now that I have an ex-wife and son that are going to be sharing some of the expenses I'm going to have a little bit of extra money which I should put into a savings or something which I won't and I'm going to be doing a, buying a few things and doing a few things and one of the things I'm going to do is do the DNA testing and uh I'll fill you in on that. I, uh, I know a little bit of my family history. I know that uh, I had family that came from County Cork in Ireland. And I know that I had uh, ancestors that came from Germany. Uh, their name was Slotman. And I know a little bit. But it'll be interesting to do the DNA. And I, I, think, I think you can get it done for about $100. And then what I'm going to do is uh, pay for Darlene, and then our kids will have a you know a both of our genetic background have a sort of an idea. And when I do that, I will share the information with you, and maybe we'll maybe we'll find out something. Maybe it will be interesting. I've seen a bunch of people doing that on on YouTube, so. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, be interesting to see. I'm going to have to check some of these other, all the other software that I paid for and see. But anyway, this, I guess, is going to be in 4K. The video is being recorded in 4K. Uh, but when I process it, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Anyway, we'll find out together. Uh, thank you very much for watching.